We are drinking cold snap tonight because we're snapping the cold finally with these 50 degree days that are coming. So cold snap. Here's to hope it works, I guess. Hoping it Focus. works. Focus. Yeah. Katie, you can't be in the video, but you can watch it. I think you hit the wrong button, but that's okay. There you go. <laughs> Taylor Zach. Oh, Zick. you guys got it. Oh, Taylor Zick. Yeah, that's John's wife. Oh. Brought over some awesome food. We're going to talk about that later, too. So don't let me forget that one. Okay. Awesome food. Awesome Good beer. Food. Yes. When I was fishing. Katie when I was fishing too. New year, new beasts. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Katie's a pretty good ice fisher. Um lady. This is my third time ever going and Yeah? Yeah. My boots are drying right now. Do you fall in? A foot. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a safe fall into <laughs> but it was unexpected at was the same it a, time. Make your butt pucker a little bit. Oh, oh. No, no, yeah. no, no. I, I was secure to a tree on purpose. Oh, okay. So, well, we'll just get into it. All right, let's get That's into it. good said. Yes, yes. So, me and John went ice fishing today. We went to uh, Lawrence Youngman. Okay. Good, solid six to eight inches of ice. Oh, good. Walked out, no problem. But being out in the open, that wind ripping, it was cold. I bet it was. So, uh... We decided to go to Standing Bear because we heard, you know, a lot of people going there. So we go to Standing Bear. Uh, the access to the lake, not great. Okay. It's kind of rocky, so the rock, you know, warm, or right. the warmth of the rocks. So this is probably about six inches of water. To, and then you got to step out on the ice. And there's only like one path, and there's a bunch of guys sitting there ice fishing. We didn't want to use their path to disturb them, so we're like, we'll find another spot. Yeah. So if we find a spot, it's like, okay, it's just a couple inches to step over, and it looks solid. Okay. I'm like, well, I'll go. So I get out, grab on this tree. The tree branch goes out, so it's a nice solid. Okay. Not like ones you see like break and people fall in the water. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew it was solid, so. Work my way out. I'm on the ice. I'm like, oh, this is pretty solid. And then me and John both noticed at the same time, he's on the bank, that the ice is getting deeper, deeper in the water. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, getting off. Well, I got my foot, one foot off on the rocks. And as I went to push off yeah. with my weight, it gave way and my foot just went in. So I had water probably up to my knee. <laughs> yeah, Titanic movement, yes. <laughs> yes. But you know, drove home with the the heat on the, on my yeah. feet, and it it somewhat warmed them up, <laughs> dried it out. <laughs> so, but it was it was good just to get out, and I um, got to meet his friend Ricky, and it was a good time. Oh, nice for the couple hours we were out. So yeah, and then me and John uh, talked to tackle <laughs> for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he went through my stuff last night of everything I had, and went through all of his stuff today, and uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna jump on his uh, Instagram live uh, this Wednesday. So on Instagram, nice. you want to hear us talk fishing? I'm going on live at seven. Uh, part time underscore Fisher is his page, and check out his YouTube videos. He just dropped a new one today uh, about the six cents uh, yeah. subscription review, which I got one. He gets the big one. I get the cheap one. Because I got enough stuff right now, and uh, I don't know. Let's yeah. see if that changes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Frozen, Sweet. Frozen foot today. Frozen foot. But it's all good. Well, now, now you know where to go and what time of year to go. Yeah. And uh, can't, can't say I'll go without a shack in the heater <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have too much fishing stuff, she says. <laughs> There's never enough. <laughs> <laughs> you see my wife's glitter collection. <laughs> We're even. Hey, Sam. So a few people uh, come in. Uh, saw Shark pop in and uh, Susan. Thanks for yeah. checking in. Hope everything's going good. Yeah. Uh, 
feel like everybody's in lighter spirits right now, knowing that the warmer weather's coming. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah, shack for sure. Minnows and yeah, just we need to learn how to ice fish. <laughs> and no more manual logger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. That sucked. Uh, we reused the holes that other people had. <laughs> we just poked through them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you always have glitter everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can't avoid that here. <laughs> so, yeah, we got to... Yeah. yeah. So we're going to be uh, starting a Facebook page... Um... Uh, I'll probably be putting it together tomorrow, and Jeremy and I just thought that would be a collective way for both of us to see what's going on together, um, rather than having people comment on his page and people comment on my page. On that one page, we can we can see what everybody, how everybody's feeling, and if there's anything anybody wants us to talk about, if anybody has any ideas for donations or auction you want to see us auction anything off or anything like that so hopefully we'll be getting then i'll get that going tomorrow um i'm gonna watch this video and try and get a good screenshot of us so they can uh i'm having a hard time finding a, a profile picture it's either me or him right now so <laughs> so be watching out for that i'll sh uh I'll let Jeremy know when it's done, so hey, we can uh, so we can get a uh, get it out there and share it, and he can share it, and I can share it. Um, please, guys, once that gets up and running, comment whatever you want. On... Should I backtrace a little? Uh, not whatever you want. Like if you don't like the video, um, don't tell us off. <laughs> Be nice on it. Um, but I don't think that's really gonna. And we'll we'll really have uh, a topic schedules. Yeah. Uh, so you could hit or miss if you want. But right. Please. We always want you to join. We don't just talk fishing. Right. Um, we tell funny stories. Uh, I got some funny photos that Chris sent to me. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, things like that. Yeah. We're, nothing's off limits unless it's uh, politics. Right. So. Right. Or religion. We're not really big on uh, discussing religion either. Well, yeah, John, uh, shirtless profile pic is... Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it wouldn't matter if we had shirts on or not, because it's going to look like we're still wearing sweaters. So, just that's what happens when you get older and you drink beer again. That's what my uncle told me. So Okay. What's your uncle sounds so. like a pretty smart guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, um, what else do we got? Let me go back to my trusty little notes. Here. Okay. That's something to talk about. Yeah, thanks a lot, David. Oh, yep. by the way, shout out to uh, Great Clips for finally offering haircuts for uh, balding guys. Well, it wasn't for just balding guys, but it was like the right price for a balding oh, guy. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, five ninety nine for a haircut. Haircut by amount, not mount. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I like it. So I think they need to do like an age bracket. You know, you get to a certain age, like you don't have as much hair, so we're going to cut this down. Or like <laughs> yeah. a balding level, like they put a thing on, and if your hairline's like right here, <laughs> it's like $2 off, $3 off, $4. That would be it. Yes, that's my next bit. Don't tell everybody, John. <laughs> don't don't be getting that word out. That's my, re that's my re retirement plan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in my prime right now. <laughs> Oh, geez, that's great. So, uh, okay, let's go to uh, tell the story about John's wife, uh, Taylor. So, she bought a cup from my wife, okay. uh, Harry, Potty, Harry Potter themed one. Turned out really cool. But she came to pick it up yesterday and brought a bunch of. Uh, oh, geez, I can't. I knew I'd. Mess up the name. I have no Kalachi. idea. Kalachi. Yeah. Kalachi. Uh, did I say that right? I am terrible at speaking and talking in general. But uh, she makes kolaches uh, at Kalachi factory. And she brought a bunch over. They are amazing. Yeah. What she spelt there. What's a kolachi? I think I'm saying it right. 
Okay. Yes. But they are amazing. Um, so there were several different ones. Uh, they're like a a, a pastry breaded. Uh, um, some of them had a um, Polish so sausage in it. What? Uh, the other one was a Texas one. It's kind of like a Texas brat type thing. Uh, God, there were so many. I, uh, uh. I'm Cat was gonna write down like a menu for me, but she is uh, in bed right now with a bad headache. So, but I had a chicken one. It's kind of like a slo sloppy Joe. Okay. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And then a couple of uh, sweet ones. There's a cherry cheesecake and things like that. Wow. Yeah, yeah Polish sauce or Polish dog. That's what it is. Okay. But check that sounds delicious. But check it out. Um, Eastern European deliciousness. There you go. And I'll, I'll, I'll share a link uh, on my profile later. And uh, tomorrow, she'll also be featured on the news. What channel was that again, Taylor? And again, for anybody watching on uh, Chris's side, uh, I'll share a link and uh, tag both of us. Sweet. So definitely go check it out. Chicken Mansion. Okay. It was so good. I, I don't know. I was so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was eating they everything. They sound great. <laughs> Channel three. And then Cat uh, had, oh, Cat had uh, the sausage, egg, and cheese one this morning and a biscuit and gravy one, which oh. I'm definitely going to have to have. But, oh, they're so good. Wow, so, we found the topic of discussion. Kalachis. I'm missing yeah. out. Yeah, Kalachi uh, Factory. Okay. So Sorry if I butchered that name because... I tend to do that with just regular words <laughs> and my own name. So, <laughs> Derby! But really good, highly recommended. Check it out if you're in the Omaha area. And tune into the news tomorrow, Channel 3. Sound, I'm going to be doing it. Yeah. Because it's a national uh, kolache day. So, they are I didn't even know what they were man. until today okay. or yesterday. And, yep. Made them fresh. Yeah. So where's so the kolache, kolache factory at? Uh, in my fridge right now. The whole factory's in your fridge? <laughs> nice! <laughs> now you're... <laughs> 80. My mom knows where it's at. <laughs> right, South 84. <laughs> yep. yep, okay. All right. So check it out. And Sorry, I was going to look up more information, but uh was kind of doing a bunch of things like... Re <laughs> I need the biscuit and re repainting I, cups for the wife, you know. They're probably like uh, not giving that out, David. But I know you, and I know your wife, and I'm pretty sure um, you guys can figure it David, out. David, it's a, it's a bread, <laughs> biscuit, well, kind of biscuit and a gravy kind of thing with sausage, maybe. Um, yeah. Figure it out. <laughs> Not to confuse anybody, just you tuning in. We got two phones going here, so I can post on my profile. You can post on his and reach out to you lovely people. So I'm Ooh. noticing everybody's They're giving out free in and out fruit? of mine. So just let me know if you're having problems staying connected. Oh, that's a good way to put it, Taylor. They're kind of like a Runza in a way. Are they? Yeah. See, now here's the thing. I'm not a real big Runza fan. Um, yeah, because Runza sucks. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we're okay. We're so, but page. but kolaches are awesome. But I probably just made five people angry. Yeah. But we only have five people watching. Well, the, the one in town here really. Well, we got yeah, we got a few. David, are you crying or laughing? Oh, you're laughing. Okay. Crying. You know, you get old, your eyesight goes. Can you even see me, David? How many fingers am I holding up? Oh, look at that delay. He was like, or maybe I'm just that old that I'm moving that slow and I just don't feel like it. <laughs> hey, Jeremy got me a fishing hat. Oh, I did. I just want y'all to know that. Oh, oh yeah. Nice little train hat. Train. And we got topics in here. Random topics. <laughs> yes. You want to try it out? It's going to be classic. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, so go. I was hoping this was going to happen. Jesus. We have two different, two different uh, types of paper in there, so you should pull one of mine, and I'll pull one of yours. All right, here we go. Okay, we're gonna so try I, something new. So I got, I'm gonna pull that one. 
Yeah, that's yours. Oh, I go first. I okay. kind of summed them up, so I might have to. Ex that's crazy. Okay. First celeb experience. Yeah. Okay. I've had a few, but go for it. The biggest like celeb. I met the singer Iron Maiden. Got to hang out with him. It was in '94. It was in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Got to chat with him. Nobody. The concert was going on as like an all day concert. Yeah. It was Blaze Stock, and uh, he was there signing autographs at a Pickles uh, record store in Lincoln, and there was nobody there, and sat and chatted with him. Uh, Jerry and Jane. Uh, I seen Jane popping on here, and uh, my dad. We were all there and got to. He signed like a bunch of things. I got a poster, so a couple of posters over there. So yeah, that's my first uh, experience. That is crazy. My first experience, uh, I didn't even know I had the experience until uh, I got off the chairlift and my mom told me, she asked me, uh, do you know who you were sitting next to? And I said, no. And I had a full blown conversation with Brooke Shields. I had no idea. That, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. That's like when you yeah. when it guess like guess who I've met. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. No clue. <laughs> yeah. I was too young to know who you know. So who uh, sit down next to me. Yeah. Yeah. What is your guys' uh first uh celeb experience and like, it could be anything. It could be a author of a book, it could be your favorite NASCAR driver, I don't care. Let us let us see what you got. And I, I told the, the, the my experience with Seven Dust Singer and Tech yeah. Nine, and uh, that was my Kansas City experience. Uh, Vegas, we walked out, and uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife was there. Wow. Yeah. Rest wow. in peace, I guess. <laughs> yeah, both of them. Too soon. Anybody need anybody? Hey, Gina. So yeah, anybody met any celebrities? We had uh, we had lunch with we we used to go skiing at Sun Valley on uh, Baldy Mountain in Haley, Idaho, and it's a nationally known ski place. Um, actually, Bruce Willis owns a I don't know if he still does or not. He owns a a mountain in Idaho, Soldier Mountain. Anyway, we had lunch. Sat at the table with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver. Wow. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tyler says uh, he was on an airplane with Bernie Sanders. No. Yep. Okay. Wow. I, at first I read Barry Sanders. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that Bernie Sanders. Cool. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> John says, way too many music artists. Uh, yeah, I've met a lot of a lot of them as well. Uh, Jackal, Hatebreed, uh, the list goes on, whatever. But, wow. Uh, Drowning Pool a couple times. As far as actors, Shel Sonnen. Wow, he's a freshman. How old are you? That dude's old. <laughs> he still owns Soldier Mountain, Gina. All right, was it Soldier Mountain or Pomerel? I think it might have been Soldier, actually. What did you say there, John? Dixie Chicks when I was five. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> was babysitting this is Rebecca Corn. Dan Whitney showed up at the door to pick up one of his kids wow that's pretty cool mud vein corn heck yeah that'd be that's a good bunch of wow wow groups wow of meat. who who would you want to meet oh man that's a good one mine who? was always Ozzy Osbourne that's yeah just, um or the guys from Kiss before, I mean, when I was younger. Yeah. That was always. I think I'd like to meet Cal Ripken Jr. Because that, that's probably my favorite all-time modern era baseball player. I think I'd really like to meet him. It's Larry the Cable Guy. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Now that. I knew that name sounded familiar. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like I'm just going to. Aaron Rodgers. I guess you can get that. No, I was just joking. But uh, 
So some guys I know, uh, they're wow, that is cool, played man. in bands up in Lincoln, and they had a house party, and uh, Larry the Cable Guy showed up, and he got on and started uh, performing with them. Wow. did some songs together. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, John's dad works in the music business, and uh, he's got oh, really? a bunch of people, too. We were talking about that today. Is that so. the hookup? You got any stuff on your side there? I see things blowing. Amy Grant. That's right. Gina you did meet Amy Grant. That's right. We, uh, we, Gina and I also met, uh, who's that lady? Lamb Chop? Remember Lamb Chop? The, the, uh, Mr. Rogers? Puppet? Mr. Rogers show? Lamb Chop and Sherry something. They came to, they came to Twin Falls. Perform with the symphony. Got to meet the Ninja Turtles at uh, World of Wolves. <laughs> That'd be who Chevy would want to meet. That or Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're the real ones, but you know, you never know these days. Yeah. <laughs> they're new. The the what is it? The 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 Turtles movie that came out. I don't know. Could be ten years ago. I don't know, but they look like roided out yeah. turtles. Yeah. They were the ugliest things I've ever seen. Yes. Yep. The song that never ends. Sherry something. I can't remember her name. She's probably too soon on that one too. But she was old. <laughs> she was too soon. <laughs> All right, your turn. Who else we got watching? I can see. Yeah, it only shows me like three people that I'm watching, but I, there's more people watching. So you got, tell who's you got on. nice pictures up there. Yeah, that's called Android. Wow, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Android or iPhone? No, joking. Let's not even go there. But Goldberg, there you go. That guy's a beast. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably got some stories, you know, former NFL and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm trying to think of outside of music, like if I met anybody famous that, but I don't know. I could probably be next to like the top 25 famous actors and actresses, and I wouldn't even know because you know. my phone sucks. I'm sorry, your phone sucks. <laughs> Stuart Lewis or Sherry Lewis, Jesus, I can't even read. Sherry Lewis, Lisa with the answers. She's like our fact checker. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Lisa's the fact checker. <laughs> All right. So we got one for Team iPhone and one for Team Android. <laughs> <laughs> and go. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's that's Team Android and watching on their iPhone. <laughs> Flip back and forth. Tell us which one has better quality. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that was an unexpected turn. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> That's what happens all the time. <coughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Something shiny. Um, there was. Uh, uh, there's another one in there. One, it's kind of close to this, but we'll, okay. we'll keep that. I got one, one that's, another time. That's so pretty close to this too. Okay, you pull that one. We'll just skip it. Okay, it's probably a favorite. Nope. Um, I got nothing. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> All right, next topic. That was a fun one. Which one was your favorite again? The okay. line one. Pretty sure. Line yeah, that's yeah, there's line ones in there. <laughs> They're both. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, college rule. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> college rule. <laughs> <laughs> Old guy. I got iPhone 12 and it sucks. Wow. Yeah, I've always, I don't know. I never know how to exit out of things or go back. <laughs> Me and my wife's both like, Where's all the buttons on this thing? Like this, I can't even figure out the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Still saying log in. <laughs> I'm just using it for the clock. <laughs> That's an expensive clock. <laughs> well, it's broken. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's exactly it. <laughs> the one I grabbed, of course. 
Wait, your son slept with a celebrity. <laughs> no, <you're good. laughs> I have not. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> My wife was on a news uh, commercial one time. <laughs> oh, she did a commercial, did Yeah, she, she did yeah, a commercial. She did. So, she did. Hey, that counts. Count yeah. it. You're hooked up? Yes. One for me. <laughs> uh, how much is too much to spend on fishing equipment? I think we kind of covered this one already, too. Taylor. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> John's like, uh, uh, block. He's going to stick in her photo like, you just, you can't watch these guys anymore. Oh, no. no. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll throw that back in for another time. <laughs> when Taylor's not watching. <laughs> for John. <laughs> Too damn much. <laughs> Yeah, luckily my wife's sleeping right now. Ask Lake Wanuka. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's no price. There's no price. No. No. Um, money doesn't buy happiness, but fishing lures is the closest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all went missing. <laughs> nice. David, I'm glad she doesn't put you on a leash. What is it? I don't know if we can do this on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not bring that up. You guys want to see a live divorce? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Just joking. We don't know those <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Name a dare you wouldn't accept ever again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How many times have I gotten naked? <laughs> no, I was just joking. It was a couple, but. <laughs> I did. Oh, back when you're in your young 20s and drinking at a private lake cabin thing. Yeah, you tend to do some stupid yeah. shit. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We can say shit, because they say it on regular TV. Now, oh, so. that's right. That's okay. right. We're good. Yeah. Or cable, sorry. Yeah. I dare you to walk out of Sandy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> One for <or> two. <laughs> Hop out there. In case you're just joining in. <laughs> I put my foot through the ice today at Sandy Bear. <laughs> in a safe manner. John may have help me out here grab <laughs> nope sorry you're too far <laughs> no nah, it's never too soon never too soon i was i was surprised uh you didn't get your or turn on your gopro when you saw the ice starting to sink under <laughs> unless you did <laughs> i'm all for it go ahead and post it <laughs> oh. um yeah dares yeah um it's usually, usually involved doing something like half naked, at least. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were hanging out with the wrong people. The worst thing, I, I, uh, I thought it was I got, it, <laughs> 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 Ada and I got dared to eat an entire bowl of wasabi. <laughs> At the time, it was okay. The next day, not so much fun. My brother probably remembers this. Uh, it popped up in my uh, inst or, uh, Snapchat feed the other day. Uh, we had a, like a lunch thing at Oscars for my brother. We got our tuxes or fitted for tuxes that day. We went to o Oscars and we dared our friend Brad uh, to do a couple cups. We called them shots, but they're a couple cups of uh, jalapenos. And he did that. And then he had to chug uh, one or two cups of... Uh, uh, ranch uh, dressing. He did it. He didn't even, didn't even think twice. He just like, all right. HBR. I guess at work, uh, it kind of wasn't a dare. They kind of like tricked me, but uh, had some uh, pretzels with ghost pepper. Oh. But it was actually really good. So. Oh yeah, yeah. A <laughs> guy had a. I did. I had a buddy tell me. 
uh, that a bunch that horseradish was Manny's, and I just slathered my burger with. Ew. Yeah, it was not good. Anybody got any stories to share? Come on, don't be don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> or if you got any stories that I don't remember, feel free to share those. Yeah, uh, David, I'm sure you probably got you probably blowing Chris's phone up over there because you're sending me all those <laughs> photos. You know, okay, you only sound like two, but. <laughs> <laughs> there was no camera, no camera iPhones when I was young. Yeah, same here. Yeah, um, yeah. It was very grainy if it did come out. Right. But there is a picture that circulated my brother on miss or was dared to do a lap dance on a friend, and my brother decided to just do a pantsless. <laughs> so, and the the plastic lawn chair actually shattered it, and he landed on top of him. So. Is he, um, he's still watching. Do we need to lock the door? Is he coming over right now? No, because there's still photographs. There's actually oh, yeah. photographs of it um, <laughs> circulating. Statute of limitations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost 40, so like early 20s. I'm, I think I'm past that now. Yeah. What is that, seven years? <laughs> yeah. I, think Does, I mean, that just means like you don't care anymore right. about it. Right. But... Stuff's still going to resurface. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, So nobody has any dares? David, if I'm not mistaken, you said you are in the military, right? Yeah, he was, he was uh, I'm army. sure he's got some stories. Oh! <laughs> I'm sure he's got some stories. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe we're going to have to do like a live challenge. Me and... When me and John go fishing, or all yeah. of us, or whatever, we'd be like, loser has to do something. <laughs> Jump in the water, you know, or something stupid. Um, step on the ice and fall through. <laughs> right. Yeah. Check. Of course, I didn't, you didn't catch any fish either, so it should have been both of us, but. <laughs> <laughs> Almost yeah. 50? Oh, geez. I'm sorry. Yeah. Man. Feel bad laughing at him now. You know what? <laughs> you know what he used to do? He used to tell us when we all got together. He used to tell us, "Well, I'm the oldest, so I have to sit up front because my legs are longer." No, never sell fishing stuff, Taylor. Come on, <laughs> man. She's she's lucky this uh, uh, our Loser topic comes back to the dock. She's, she's lucky this topic uh, came up after Valentine's Day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's like, yeah, so the fishing stuff that John got me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Loser swims back to duck. I can't even swim like five feet anymore. <laughs> Good thing it's only your foot then. As long as my fishing stuff can stay dry on the boat. <laughs> yes, it did work. Doesn't mean you didn't have some pissed off cousins in the back seat though, staring <laughs> holes through the back of your head. <laughs> we don't do Valentine's Day lucky best. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, he's got all these uh, fishing subscriptions. I'm gonna get uh, what's that? Just Fab or whatever they send all the boots. She's gonna start showing up at the door. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't remember you finding Granddad's good magazines. <laughs> Please elaborate. <laughs> I remember my first beer. <laughs> oh, come on. Somebody's got some stories for us. Let's do this. Come on. Don't make us keep drawing out of the hat. Tyler, I know you're watching. Jake, I know you're watching or were. <sighs> I think we've all kind of been there maxing out credit cards. <laughs> Mine was a mu music equipment back in the day. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Hmm. Well, should we uh, draw not? Should I draw another one? Yeah, Chris didn't come prepared today. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's mine. That was yours. 
All right. I kind of like this. Oh, we kind of did this Ooh. one already, too. Drink a cup of chew. Oh, my God. Oh! I've, I've done that. I, like, accidentally took a drink, and one of my uncles, like, spit cuffs back in the day. Oh. Hockey dare. Hockey Ooh. dare. See, I, I don't know. I would, when it came to, like, eating stuff or drinking stuff, I would, I'm out. <laughs> we kind of did that one already. Um, yeah, that's the one I said we could do for another time. Because it's slightly time. different, but yeah, okay. it's kind of there. Alright. Yeah, we, yeah, I guess we did kind of. What does it say? There was Nathan's wedding. You got in a drinking contest with your dad. I got a drinking contest with your Uncle Gary. He apparently that lost. That does not... <laughs> No, apparently I won. <laughs> or lost. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe, yeah, I did lose. I don't remember getting it. My dad had to have already been a little toasty. There's no way he would have challenged me to a drinking contest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My dad don't drink much, so I probably win that one. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. No, lost badly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John says, uh, my wife uh, learned not to get in the drinking contest with me. <laughs> she goes, bad idea. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. See, I'm one of those people that drink and you get to like a certain point where you feel like you're going to get sick maybe. And it's like, I just can't go anymore yeah. after that. My body just tells me nope. <laughs> yeah. Or I just fall asleep. Who lost badly, Chris or uh, your dad? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm sure I lost. 151 this one time. Ooh. Yeah, this I one time. I don't think they make that anymore, do they? Uh, probably not. But was it Bacardi 151 or something like that? Yeah, you only drink that once. That's true. That would be a good, uh, yeah, Kalashis would be great when you're drunk before you go to bed. <laughs> all that, like, uh, the breading would just soak up all the alcohol. You know, now that oh, you're, yeah. now that you're saying that, I, it's ringing a slight bell of this stand-up that I saw. Um, and I just lost his name, but he was saying he walked into a restaurant and I ordered a kolache, and the guy told him, you don't even look drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, yeah. that's how they would respond if I said it, because I would say it like, I've been drinking all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeehaw. My turn now. <clears throat> This one of yours? Yeah. Yeah. I want you to get the specific one. I should just, we should just talk about it. Worst thing you ever ate. That's yeah, kind of on topic. <clears throat> yeah, it is. It's an Austin. <laughs> <laughs> my mom goes, Jeremy might have a few stories of his mom drinking over her limit. <laughs> That's why I don't drink. <laughs> Mom, uh, do you want me to tell the story or not? <laughs> Get it all the time with people just pick out a bunch and smash. Yeah. Okay. Tofu. Who <laughs> I know. So David says he did a coyote ugly in Austin after he drank the 151. <laughs> oh man! And there's no video proof. Of, come on. Yeah, I think Julie might. Has she hoarded the video? Just search uh, Coyote Ugly, Coyote. Uh, Very Ugly, or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. <laughs> uh, no, we're good. Okay. So my mom can't have tequila. And 
<laughs> she said no again. Yeah, I focus think... on that. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to really tell it. <laughs> Mom, what time do you go to bed? <laughs> 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 I won't do that to you. Or will I? <laughs> there was one time when I got bit by a dog and she took off running. <laughs> Wait, after the dog or the other way? Uh, the other way. <laughs> she didn't want to get there. <laughs> Just joking. Saw it happen to you. I'm out of here. <laughs> that looks like it hurt. Aaron, what's up? He's here. <laughs> Aaron wants to go fishing this summer too. Uh, he was uh, at a lake this weekend uh, doing some little uh, cooking out and oh wow, enjoying just the fresh air. I want to see the video. Just wanted to play your drum set. Oh, that's not the story I remember, Mom. <laughs> when you were trying to kick me out of my own bed because you thought it was yours. <laughs> Go, get out of my bed. This is my room. Dad, get your wife. <laughs> she was she was ready to go to bed. She was ready to crash. And going downstairs was easier than going upstairs, apparently. <laughs> that's all I will say, Mom. That, I mean, that's all that pretty much happened, so. <laughs> what up, mofos? He's <laughs> bringing the energy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Future Mongols. <laughs> um, Kat's got a book for you. <laughs> so, we could, we could set the, that goal book for you. Yeah. We should create one. That would be great. You know, Dad's goal book. and Yeah. Yeah. Dad goals. My thing was always to embarrass the kids as friends when they come over. Because our bathroom, our house is so small, the bathroom's like right off the living room. And they'd go to use the bathroom. I'm like, oh, if you got to go number two, you got to go down to Casey's. Because, you know, <laughs> you hear everything. <laughs> and then you hear like the sink come on and the fan turns on and music on their phones playing just so you don't hear them. <laughs> no ceiling. Take it to the roof. Wait, would that be taking it to the roof and then no ceiling? What? I don't know. It sounded good, I guess. That's how I said it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to uh, look for it. Drunk stories, like. Drunk stories. So, um, I got one. Fourth July. You know, it's always hot. Been drinking. We used to have big parties at my parents' house, and uh, the neighbor across the street he, he would always have this huge party. And at the end of the night, he would blow up his mailbox. It was like a yearly tradition. And uh, I tried some of his uh, um, homemade uh, peppermint schnapps and strawberry wine. It's the one time I do not remember going home. <laughs> Luckily, it was across the street. I woke up. I got people passed out in my room. Uh, my brother's friends and and I remember going out in the driveway and my brother's friends passed out in his buddy's car just like I'm sleeping here tonight so that's a good story there that's cool we definitely want to check out uh blue stream lake and uh uh hopefully we do some fishing out there soon so it's gonna be a road trip I'll uh Drag this guy along with me. Yep. So we'll definitely uh, check it out. We went ice fishing today, Aaron. I'll tell you some stories about that later. We kind of went over it already, but... Oh, yeah, I did get your gift that showed it. The boat dock where the water's melting away. Pretty good. So oh, wow. Okay. And all this moisture is going to be good. We'll get the lake lo levels up. Um, This is a... What did I just say? Blue stem? Blue stem? Yeah, blue stem. Yeah. Yep. Wait. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't have... I mean, there's always funny stories. Oh, one time, massive rainstorm where my buddy Zach's and uh, the water's just flowing down through the grass in the okay. valley. So somebody suggested that we go out there and slide down in the grass. So here we are, you know, there's a bunch of us. 
we're all out there basically in our underwear or you know bra and panties whatever else i mean i just had the bra on but um <laughs> So we're all out there doing this in the apartment complex and a bunch of people are joining us. It was a good time. It was a good, it was a, that was a lot of fun. But I'll tell you what, that grass will cut you up. Oh yeah, yeah. And that, yeah. Yep. Our 4th of July party one year, this kid uh, was over, never really drank. And I saw him in the bushes, asked, did you throw up? And he went no, but need to go home now. Yeah, <laughs> there's always that person. Yeah, yeah. I had a buddy uh, pass out in my bathroom up against the. He had the door locked, but he passed out and by the toilet, and we we're trying to get to him. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, was able to wake him up. Yeah, and get him out of there. But it's like, Jeez, it's like man, people got to go. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Snorkeling and spear fishing um, in the Weezer River when I was fighting for fi fighting fires with the Forest Service. Um, Did you have your hash pipe? <laughs> no, <laughs> I did not. Because the bears like to give because they forgot it. it. <laughs> Weezer, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they did try and pull my sweater, though. I walked away, though. Yeah. Oh, nice, David. Good job. Good job, David. Me too. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant seven years old. <laughs> yeah, I was sober seven years old. No, I didn't drink until later in life, but I still don't, I don't drink. Either. I've cut way back. Just Sunday nights now, apparently. <laughs> so, All right. yeah, especially I don't go ice or uh, catfishing as much. We used to drink a ton. Oh, down yeah. at the. When and how should I use the rat lure? Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Here. Just so everybody's on the same page of what's going on here. got a real custom art real special lure this is a rat lure that I painted Let's make sure hopefully you can see that so it's a whopper plopper top water so the best time to use it is when it's a uh, warm out uh, you got waters pretty warm and the fish are feeding on top especially like going after frogs and whatnot it's a good time to use top water. So, yeah. Yeah. So, mid midsummer, it was a good time. Nebraska's got a pretty short window for top water bite. So, hello, Colleen. How's it going? Um, Colleen, you got a pretty good uh, celebra celebrity list of people you met. Uh, Stephen King. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's a huge Stephen King fan. Got a ton of books autographed by him and all kinds of stuff. Holy and cow. They love her and her uh, kids are huge into horror movies. So yeah. they meet uh, actors and actresses all the time. And don't ever get into a game of like, um, what's those ones like, from this movie, uh, seen it. Oh, okay. They will destroy everybody at that game. <laughs> like, okay. Yes, and jump, uh, going back to the rat one, uh, you want to do it slow, slow roll over the weeds, and uh, just below the surface. Um, but you also want a pretty strong fishing line on your lure because they're going to hit it hard and fast, and you want to get that set. Plus, you got to rip it through the weeds at the fish. Because they take you, they go. So uh, that one will float. Uh, it kind of stays mid half and half, and that's where you get the little prop going, tearing up the water. So I'll definitely, uh, I'll show you how to use it when we get out, um, when it's time. So 
Gina wants to know where there's where you think some good spots to fish in Nebraska are. Um, mostly in the water. <laughs> uh, it, it's hit or miss. You yeah. Know? Uh, depends on water clarity, uh, water st structure, uh, things like that. So there's a lot of factors when it comes to fishing in Nebraska. It's not the greatest place in the world for fishing, but you can have some good days if you yeah. hit it just right. Yeah. John will be like, bulls, BS, uh, fishing's great all the time. You just <laughs> suck at fishing. And I'm like, yeah, I probably do. <laughs> so, what's up, Fred? Welcome. I need to get out to Lincoln and fish with those guys. Uh, do some catfishing. Uh, yeah. Brand Stoke and whatnot. Fred and Trevor. Haven't seen those guys in quite some time. Damn COVID and everything else, you know? Right. Now they got vehicles that actually I feel safe taking more than a couple blocks, you know, so we <laughs> can actually get out and go fishing. Uh, it's, it's pretty good for pike if you uh, know where you're going. Musky, I have no idea. Uh, the Whopper Ploppers are good for pike, from what I heard. Uh, not sh Muskies are so, I mean, when you're talking like swim baits, thing like that, big baits for musky, which I... Probably got some, but I've never fished for muskie because they're not really heavily populated here. Mm -hmm. And they're so picky. I think, what do they call it, like one in 100,000 catches, whatever, or cast, you catch one. So, yeah, uh, John, uh, I'm joining John. John does a, a, a weekly, well, he's going to try to do a weekly thing on Instagram live where we just talk fishing. Uh, I'm tuning in with him on Instagram so Wednesday at 7, if you want to hear us talk fishing, uh, check us out. Um, this is uh, part-time underscore fisher. Uh, we'll post some more as the time gets near. And he's got a YouTube channel where he reviews uh, monthly subscription boxes and things like that. So, Katie was naming some spots. Missouri River. Cramper Lake. Cramper Lake. Now, Katie okay. works... Works for Nebraska Game and Parks. Oh, awesome. Mm. And right now, I'm, I'm thinking a special guest. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I was awesome. thinking about it, but I know with uh, COVID, she's very limited on who they're allowing her to be around. Yep. Um, so, but yeah, I was thinking Katie would be really good. Um, she works, uh, I think, at Pawnee, is that where you're at right now, Katie, Pawnee? Used to go to Pawnee all the time when I was a kid and catch white bass there and things like that. Uh, John knows some, John's got the hookup on all the lakes. <laughs> Ponca, that's right, Ponca. Okay. Not my bad. Can't say I'm familiar with that one, but it's not too far away. No. Well, she threw an exclamation point after that. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor goes, so you make a lot of noise Wednesday. Yes, a lot of fishing noises. <laughs> we need more gaming wardens, but that's a different subject. Yeah. Yeah. We were just talking about that because... Uh, Two hours north of Omaha. Okay. La last year, when we were fishing yeah. in Louisville, was the first time I've ever got checked for a license. And that guy said he was coming out of Lincoln. Yeah. It was just... Uh, Nebraska City. Nebraska City. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He was an awesome guy. Sat there, talked with us. Uh, was really interested in what we've caught out of there. And Yeah. Because Louisville, you know, with the floods and everything. But, right. man, we tore it up on bass. So, uh, I think that's going to be a good fishery. Uh, I mean, it's very small, so I don't know how big they'll get. But everything we were catching last year was one to two pounds. And you were catching numbers. There was days we caught up to ten and yeah. ten plus. I can't go fishing with Jeremy because, like, when I go by myself, I do all right. And then I go with Jeremy, and all of a sudden, he catches them all. I give him all my good luck. I even gave him the same lure to my... Yeah, the same <laughs> lure. And then told me, he throw it here. And I did. Nothing. He was just like, hmm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go down here. You keep trying. And he threw out, and bam. So... I know where Ponca is. Uh, I had to do some work at the Ponca Elementary, so I'm... I'm assuming it's pretty close to that, so yeah, well, let's check it out. That'd be awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds like a great idea, Jan. Get everybody together and go fishing and camping. Yeah, yep. that'll be fun. Yep. And that's kind of the plan this year. I'm hopefully get out. You get it checked all the time in Branch Oak? Okay. But there you probably got more of a presence because uh, all the boaters and all the jet skiers. Because I remember out there all the jet skiers used to get in trouble because they pushed the limits. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, we'll definitely be interested in hearing more about all that. And So, uh, when, when, uh, we, so far we have John that's going to come on. We mm -hmm. have Kelly, hopefully. And Katie, when would you be, you know, let us know when you'd be available to come on. We'll um, schedule Alan sometime for Alan, the, the Sean. And, yep. And then uh, I got that uh, guy I did some pink lures for. Yep, uh, yep. So I did some pink lures. He does a breast cancer thing on YouTube. And he's got a pretty good following, uh, Mr. Jackson Be Fishing, as it's called. Okay. And uh, he's out of New York. So. He bought some lures for me, and yeah, he's willing to do it, and he's a comedian too, so it should be interesting. So <laughs> we'll have to figure out how to get all that to work, and I'll definitely be looking forward to doing that. Yeah. Got some Texas Lakes. Texas to Lakes to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So <clears throat> I would. I would love to go to Texas. After seeing the Sixth Sense crew this week, oh my gosh, they are crushing it out there. Yeah. Six, they set uh, the lake record, they broke like three different times or something like that, four times. Jeez. And then another guy, uh, they're all been like 14 to 16 pound uh, smallmouth, largemouth. And uh, some guy today, I seen they shared another one, another guy out of the same lake caught another share lunker out of there. Jeez. Crazy. So, David, if you're not on that, you need to get on that. Big blue cats. All right. Yeah. Branch Stokes about the only place around here that's got good blue cats. I I, um, I guess there's a few other lakes. Uh, Harlan County Reservoir. That's okay. But locally here, the only other lake that had them was uh, um, the one down the street here. Uh, we spawn, but their numbers are not there anymore. They have broke the mean mouth, right? Yeah, it's it's crazy what they did down there in Texas. It's just insane. I think that cold snap just it's just perfect timing. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier today, and yeah, it's crazy. Hey, John, do you remember what lake that was again? I it's got a weird name, and it's just right there. I just can't. It's like Ao or something like. That. You live on Lake Buchanan. Hmm. That'd be. A, I want to live on a lake. I want to live on a lake, yeah. I don't even care if it's like five foot by five foot. <laughs> Would it be considered a lake at that point, or would it still be a pond? I'm considering a lake if I'm living on it. <laughs> <laughs> Smith Lake, Big Striper, and Hybrid. That, that'd be fun to catch. Yeah. I definitely want to get on those this year. Uh, we talked about going down to uh, uh, Harlan County, maybe to get on those, or... Uh, Oh, geez, what's the uh, Glen Elder uh, down in Kansas? My uncle's friend was kind of talking to me about it, about getting his boat down there. So, I was, that'd be awesome. That sounds cool. Yeah. Crazy to slay it down there. Hey, look, we, we're talking fishing and we still got people watching. Hey! <laughs> Not many, but yeah. You know. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, now we're losing everybody. <laughs> bye bye. Like, oh, they caught us. <laughs> Somewhat interested. <bit. coughs> so, uh, okay, Daniel joined. What's up? We were talking earlier about you, kind of, Daniel, uh, about celebrities and yeah, and uh, getting your butt or your butts kicked in uh, scenic games. Uh, anything with movies, you and your family just mop everybody up with that. It's it's insane the amount of knowledge you guys got about movies and actors and actresses and musicians and it it's insane. But 
time we were pushing here. Yeah, we're about at or about at our hour, but we can get a couple more minutes. Yeah. If anybody's got anything to get off their chest. But uh do drop us some uh topics. I know Dan, you probably got some great topics. You historian. Dan is what we like to call him. That guy knows everything. Yeah. So if you want to give us some uh, ideas to share with future uh, topics uh, in our fishing hat topic uh, grab bag, um, drop us a couple uh, messages or in the comments or message us, whatever. Right. Um, game for everything. I think John has a problem. <laughs> I think we established that in the first five minutes. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't fully aware of his problem until you made it uh, abundantly yeah. clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he does lot or sell a bunch of his stuff, so he doesn't keep everything he's got. No. Now he's got a great uh, um, YouTube channel where he reviews. Uh, he gets uh, two different. Uh, monster bass uh um subscriptions for two different uh regions so it kind of gives you an idea of what oh, wow. if you're in this region um then he gets the six That's cents really one cool. and then he gets a mystery tackle box and he compares them all too so it's really good six cents is the one i get it's great but you don't get a variety of stuff to like try new things it's just kind of like focused on your area or whatever um they, or are they sending you duplicates? Not du duplicates, uh, but they send you their products. So it's oh, not like you're gotcha. getting like a different brand or gotcha. you know, a different style that you may name, not ever throw, like this one or this one. Or, you know, you got a, right. a rat or a prop fish, spiders, you know. Right. Things you okay. typically wouldn't do, but see a problem. <laughs> I'll leave that for you two to discuss. Yeah. <laughs> Glad we can help make your night. Yes. Yeah, you know, yeah. After this, uh, I don't know, <laughs> net, Netflix and chill and uh, get ready for Monday. <laughs> can we say that? I think so. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's just watching Netflix, right? Right, Netflix. And, and then chill because it's kind of chilly out still. So. Right. Okay. Nah, thank you all for joining. Uh, it's been a crazy week. I uh, just, I don't know. Like every night, I've just been exhausted. Just yeah. the weather changed, all that cold. Yeah. So it's just getting that mindset now. You know, get back, feel motivated again. So right, right. We'll definitely look for our uh, Facebook page. Uh, we'll be putting together. We still may stream from our separate accounts for now until we get yeah. uh, people to tune in. Yep. But uh, we appreciate it and have a good week and. If you like their products, it's great because it's a great way to restock and try more. Exactly. So check out Monster Bass uh, Company. And if you like fishing, give it a shot. If okay. you're new to fishing, give it a shot. Yeah. You know, if you don't like it, turn around and sell it. So I have noticed that a lot of these the, a lot of these companies, they're not necessarily gearing up towards the professional fishermen. A lot of them offer beginning and most Basic of these boxes stuff. come with uh, tips and tricks on how to yeah. use what they're sending you in uh, certain, you know, regions on what to look for. So, right, it, get out there, you know, take, right. take your grandkids, take your kids, you know, just get out and enjoy some fresh air. Right. You know, but do it within the law. <laughs> exactly. Get, get your license, you know, because that money supports local Abs fisheries, you know. Absolutely. And just play by the rules. So, I like that. Play by the rules. Thanks for thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a good week. All right, we'll see you guys later. Peace.